Hi, this is Maria from Kindercrave once again, and today I'm going to show you how you can take an image that typically has a white background and change that white background to a transparent background so that you no longer see a white box around it when you display it on, on top of something that's a different color than white. Um, this is a tutorial for Mac users only because I will be using the Mac applica application of preview. If you are a PC user, I'm so sorry this tutorial will not, will not be helpful to you. But if you are a Mac user, I'll continue. Um, to give you a very specific example of why you would want to use this feature and this trick, um, I was recently redesigning my social media buttons for my blog and when I started they looked like this. They were these beautiful buttons but they had this white box around them. When I So what I did was I did this really quick edit that I will be showing you and the finished product is much better. The, the buttons are beautiful but the white around them is now gone and I'm in love with how they turned out over on the sidebar of my blog. So I'll show you how I did this. It is so simple and easy. The first thing you need to do is you need to open your picture file that you'll be working with. So I'll just grab my email button. And then you need to change the format of your picture. I was told at some point that either it doesn't work for a JPEG file or it doesn't work very well. So I always use a PNG file type. So right now my button is a JPEG file. It's very simple to fix this and change the type. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and down here where it says Format, I'm going to change it to PNG. And I'm just going to dump it right on my desktop so I can find it easily and click Save. So here's this new button. Um, it's a PNG file type now, so I'm ready to use it. I'm going to be using a feature called Instant Alpha, and it's on the Select menu. Now, if you have a smaller picture file like I do right now, you are missing some buttons across the top of your preview screen, and I need to get those buttons there. So all that I do is I take the corner of this image right here, I drag it out to expand, and if you can see, some buttons came up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where it says Select. There's a little arrow for a drop-down menu. I'm going to click on the arrow, go all the way down to Instant Alpha, and click. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse or my cursor and inside of the white area, I want to get rid of the white, so I go inside of the white, I hold the mouse button down, and I drag just a little bit, and it's going to change colors from white to kind of a peach color. Um, the more you drag it, if I kind of go back to where I came from, you can see it's sort of shifting colors. Just go closer and closer to get rid of as much white as you can. When you're done, you lift up your finger from the mouse. It turns back to white, but now there is a sort of dotted line going across the entire white background. That's exactly what I want to happen. The next thing I do is hit delete on my keyboard, and the white is gone. I removed it. So all I need to do now is click, I need to save it. So I'm going to go to File, Save. Here's my new file, and it is now transparent. I'll show you again. I'll just reopen it to prove to you. The file type is still going to be a square, but you won't see that squareness around it. Now it'll, it'll just look like a circle when I install it on any colored background. So this is what I would be using for my blog. Now this is much easier to do with a big image, but a smaller image gets a little bit more gritty and it's not the same kind of precision. So I'm going to show you the process is pretty much the same, but I'll show you how it looks on a smaller image. This one here is the actual file size that I used on my, on my blog. You can see it's very, very small. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to a PNG. I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to go File, Save As. Instead of JPEG, I want PNG. I'm going to dump it right on my desktop. I'll X this JPEG file out because now I want the PNG. Okay, you can see the buttons are still missing, so I will expand this a little bit. Here they are. Now it's going to be very difficult to get in here when I'm... I'll, I'll do Instant Alpha again. 
it's going to be difficult to get in here and to be precise. So I can zoom out to manipulate this, or zoom in rather. There's zoom buttons at the top. I just increase a little, little bit so I can see what I'm working with. The more I zoom, as you can see, it gets kind of gritty, but that's just that's just the name of the game and how it works. It's, it'll still work for you. So I, once I chose Instant Alpha, I can see that wand is here. Um, I'm just going to hold the mouse button down, drag. As you can see, it didn't turn orange right away. I, I have to do a little bit more work, and now it finally is orange, or that peach color, I should say. Lift up the mouse. I see the bordered line dotting it and I can hit delete. There's my new button. It looks a little grainy, but again, it's supposed to be about this size, and from this size it looks just fine. I'll go to save, and I'm ready to go. So, now that you know how to make a file image transparent, I can't wait to see what you end up doing with your own images, if you install them on your own blog or if you use them to create some sort of printable that you no longer want that box around. I wish you the very best of luck and I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. Be sure to check back soon for more great tutorials.